eight bells in the tower. Up until 1897, there were four bells in the tower, and these front four were, were cast in 1897 to celebrate Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee. There, the, the oldest bell in the tower is the number eight bell, which is the tenor bell, which raised about 900 weight, and that was cast in 1594. The next oldest is the seventh, which um, was cast in 1622, and then this one, the sixth, was cast in 1709. Um, and this one was cast originally about 1607, but it was recast um, and, and, and in 1897. So, um, so the treble over there is the largest bell in tower, that's about 300 weight. And when we, when we ring, we ring 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, each, each bell follows the, 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 preceding, the, the preceding bell, and that's a sequence called rings. The music and the different tunes we, we ring are called methods. 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 Okay. Because because of the action of the bell, you can only it only strikes once in each re, in each cycle. Each so you can't ring two quick note two same quick notes in succession because the bell okay. the mechanics don't let you. So the so the tunes are mathematical oh, sequences. Yeah, that. mm -hmm. so it's numerical. The maximum number of changes you can get on ringing on five bells with eight repeating yourself is 120. No. And then if you go up to six, that's, no. so that's, that's then 720. So it's, it's six, six on 20s. Then. Yeah. <laughs> and then 5,040 for seven, 40,000 and something for eight. <sighs> and if you rang the maximum number of changes on 12 bells, which is some enormous number, if you rung it, if you could ever ring it, non-stop, it would take about 36 years. Oh. Before you started repeating Before you started repeating yourself. <laughs> when we cycle the bell over like this, the rope is wound around the wheel. And then when you pull back this way, the rope unwinds itself around the wheel and goes back over just a small part of the wheel. On for remembrance. Sunday, or if there's a funeral, or if we're asked to ring for a funeral, or um, last year when we had the um, death of the Duke of Edinburgh, we we ring um, with muffles on, to, so that you get one loud sound and one soft sound. And mm -hmm. this this is a muffle, and it, it goes on to the the ball of the clapper, which is at the bottom of the the clapper is a long um, shaft with a ball fairly near the bottom, and this sits onto the onto the ball. And uh, Velcro just goes round the round the shaft of the clapper to hold it in place. So you get, and then you, you get, get one, one loud sound and yeah, one soft it's sound. Really moving. Okay. And there are there are there are certain sequences of, of call changes which are named. Mm -hmm. So you have queens, which is one which is in the order one three five seven two four six eight, and then you have titums, which is one five two six. Three, seven, four, eight. So, so you get the same titum, titum, titum. So, so titums is, is so it's a small bell followed by a, a large bell, followed by a small bell, followed by a large bell, followed by a small bell, followed by a large bell. The main, the main use for handbells is music ringing. So you have loads and loads and loads of them you have about three people playing and they'll play to sheet music um, whereas what we do when we play say jingle bells we change the sheet music into numbers so these will be numbered one to eight and we know which number we have and we ring it at the right time it's right upside down now eh? and if i just let go i'm not putting any weight on the rope at all so that's the energy of the bell pull it to make it travel that much. Yeah, the, what, the bell hangs slightly off balance like that. All, right? what, all we do to start the bell, bring it directly upright, that's called the balance point. That's when you feel the rope, it feels completely weightless. You pull it to that bit and then it will swim around by itself yeah. afterwards. We're, we're, cu we're currently fundraising to uh, refurbish the bells, um, which is the cost of £154,000. Um, we've got money raised locally 
and we've had three grants already for, for the refurbishment of the bells. Um, we've done an IHA, a heritage lottery funding bid, but um, they're, they're asking for more information. Um, we think that they want to give us some money, but they want some more information. Um, the plan is to rehang the eight bells and add two more to make them ten. In ringing terms, Rating Tower is quite historical and important because the first ever peal of Little Bob was, was rung here in 1911 by the Cambridge University Guild. This is basically a model bell, so it's still ringable, but it's basically a smaller replica of the big bells um, up in the bell tower that we ring. It's got a stay and it's got a clapper, but it hasn't got a slider. So hopefully everything goes okay. And when you're when when the, the bell turns over, your hands are like right there, and all you need to do is just I'm drop your arms right yeah. the way through, and the bell will do the work for you. And do that, yeah. and you put right. it down. Yeah. Ready? Your hands back to there. Okay. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. That's it. Come down. Stand up. Stand up straight. And pull from your shoulders. Job is going, she's gone.